As the United Party for National Development Religious Affairs Committee, we find President Lungu's attack on the church very sad, unbecoming, and totally unacceptable. We wish to advise Mr. Lungu that a head of state's work oftentimes involves making choices that have moral undertones to them. It is sad, in a Christian nation, with a religious and national guidance ministry, in a nation with a national day of prayer and fasting, a nation where a house of prayer devoted to God is being built, that when a national crisis arises, the Patriotic Front government refuses to allow the three church mother bodies to spearhead the national dialogue process and the reconciliation of the nation. We strongly feel Mr. Lungu must first counsel his own ministers, some of whom have posted pornographic pictures on social media before he goes for the church. The president has kept silent when his most senior cabinet minister attended the National Dialogue Forum in a drunken stupor, as reported by a cross-section of our media. Mr. Lungo has kept quiet when civil servants have been retired from civil service in national interest on suspicion that they support the opposition, especially the UPND. Mr. Lungo has kept quiet when his card has attacked worshippers in church services, for example, in Matero. He remained silent when his Copper Belt Police Commissioner demanded a police permit for President Hakainde Ichilema to attend a church service. A church service. Mr. Lungu should not attack the church when they refuse to succumb to his bullying to attend the National Dialogue Forum. The church is the voice of God and not the voice of government. We also want to encourage the church that they must never compromise their faith and values, especially if the government forces them or pressures them to make decisions that would cause them to stumble in their faith. This is according to the book of Acts chapter 5, verse number 29. A Christian makes righteous decisions in the political realm because it is God's will that all government institutions act in accordance with God's righteous standard. A government cannot do this properly if their definition of what is right and wrong is warped or skewed, which is what we're experiencing in Zambia today. This is why Christians who are engaged in the political process should use their God-given position or legal privilege to help enact laws that reflect God's standard of justice for the government. These laws should be designed to punish criminals for acts of corruption, murder, false testimony. These laws should be crafted to defend the poor, the weak, the marginalized, and the most vulnerable in our society.